Oh yes, we have another toy in the house. It is only a 24 litre, just a little contraption, but as you can see, this place is getting rather chock-a-block with everything. So we have the tiniest little space we're going to clear out, and that's where it's going to be housed. So, let's get it out and get on with it. Quite heavy. Quite, quite heavy. So yeah, this is the Parkside PKO 270A4. As you can see, right here, PKO 270A4. 1.8 kilowatt, two and a half horsepower, just below up to 10 bar, approximately 24 litre. Suction capacity 260 litres a minute, effective delivery rate at 7 bar, 103 litres a minute, and 10 metre of pressure hose. So, it also comes with an air filter to put on, an oil plug for on the motor, and wheels for here, which we need to set up. So, let me get all that junk out. Okay, we seem to have a good book of instructions. You seem alright. Don't fancy reading through it to be honest. But we do have air filter, oil plug, two sets of wheels and a power hose. Now we did have a yellow warning up here on this little plug saying before first use check the oil level and replace the transport oil plug by the supplied oil plug. So if you look at the bottom of the engine, there is in fact a see-through oil plug here. Oil's halfway. Anything above totally empty is good. <laughs> in my books that is. Of course, always keep your engines and motors full of oil up to the correct level. So now we know that's there, we'll just come up here. No, it's not happening. Yes. Just a pair of pliers. I don't know if this one screws in or if it's just plugged in. There we go. Plugged in, mate. It's plugged in. So now we take our little red plug. And we just install it down into there, like so. Hope that doesn't pop out of there. <laughs> right, now we need the wheels done. Get them open, get some spanners, open-ended wrenches. Job's a good one. Right, so we're onto the wheel. You also get two rubber bungs, probably for the front part, so... We'll go big ones first, which will come through from this side, and then we'll put a thrust thrust washer on, and then I suppose you would have to then slot it like this through that hole there, and from the back, once it's through, you'd add another washer, a crush washer, and then the final bolt. And then just tighten it up from the back with an open-ended wrench. I'm actually just propping mine up with a bit of wood to make it that little bit easier. So I get my wheel, thrust washer, stick it through like so. Put another washer on the other side. Put a crush washer on. And finally the nut. Voila! That part's on. Now we need to tighten it. Right, so now for the rubber bungs. We'll take a bolt with a washer still. One washer. Slide it up into the inside. I'm going to place it through a hole here, put a washer on the back and then a nut. So, slip that on like so. It's 
started. It looks like so. I'll do the same for the other one and then tighten them up. Okay, next up is our power line, which we'll be looking for the small side here to be attaching in. And yeah, just push it in. There's no having to hold other parts to make it pop a clip, you just push it straight in like so. So easy peasy. And then we can take it from there and coil it round the front. Well, I think you get the picture. It's going to take a minute or two. Yeah, I also picked up this part here, which is a four-in-one adapter piece for four different airlines. Just in case we had multiple tools to run, but <clears throat> one good advantage of this system is it has the twin port. Your twin gauges up here, you've got your start-stop button. Uh, yeah, we've mentioned the oil plug and the oil cap down here for checking your oil. But yes, lovely jubbly. I was actually about to cut this zip die, but don't do it because it's holding the wire underneath. And the less the wires are knocking about hitting into things, the less chance you have of anything breaking or falling apart. So, I also got... A sand gun, sandblasting gun, which had two bottles. Let me set you up. Sandblaster gun here came with two bottles of blasting compound, which can only be good when you get a freebie, no matter how bad it is. It has a couple of tips here, so we'll be giving it a bash. See you when we get it started. Hear the dreadful noise. And of course, just as important as your oil drain will be your air filter. So we take that out the bag and we get our set of pliers. Pull our plug out. Like so. Be careful not to cross thread this because it is just plastic threads. But yeah, once you get it on, tighten it right in there. Seems to just keep going. Oh, there we go. Snugged up. Keep the bolt tight there. That's you. Good as gold. Right. Now, turn this thing on and see how loud it is. Right, well here goes the scary bit. I'm putting in some earplugs, no joke. So, here we are. That, my friends, is a jackhammer. But yeah, not too noisy. It'll be inside here. Most of the time I'll be using it. I'll probably be outside the shed, so we'll be all good. Now let's get it fitted into its pretty little place. But I will say, always remember you do have a drain plug underneath. So when you've, you don't, well, you can do it every time, but you don't want to go using it lots of times and not at least attempting to use this drain plug. There's a condensation will build up in the tank and as you're trying to pressurize it and water won't compress well you've got an explosive device so always be mindful of using your tap at the bottom and of course when the air's in it you can pull this and you can always 
make your kids behave pretending there's a dragon out here. Excellent tip. So, a little bit of Mary Poppins TV magic and whoa, whoa, it's all nice and tidy. And it's in there. So, next up, we'll be sandblasting a piece of engine. We have engine over here. This will be the part we'll be using. We'll try and get it all shined up. As you can see, the little crevices in here would be hard to get in here with sandpaper and make everything look even. So where sandblasting comes in handy is like everything's been sanded up nice and clean without any deep scratches. So this will be our piece. Let's get on to it. Okay, so we open up our blaster model PDSP 1000D4 and our blasting medium which is some form of sand or oxide or whatever of your choosing we just pour it on in there we need any more we'll fill her up to the top Take a look guys, that was just seconds. Who knew that looks? Seconds man. I didn't even really do it in here, but this is gunky stuff that needs to be scraped out first, but that is amazing. Look, this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. Just a couple of seconds of blasting. And remember Always wear your safety gear. Okay, that's no joking about when it comes to this stuff. You don't want to be inhaling that. But I'm telling you now, for 11.99, and that little compressor in there, yeah, it kicked back on not long, but it was still working. It. I could clean this whole thing off that one blasted tank. Now, yes, before anybody points out that you don't really want to be sandblasting in openings like this with sand, obviously not. If I was blasting something like this, I'd have all this stuff all sealed up, dummy cases put onto the side, just so I can blast it. But yeah, that easy, that tidy, that quick. Well, leave us a thumbs up, guys, if it's helped you in any way, and bye for now.